Welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Now we're going to click continue. Oh, I've got to turn my volume up. Otherwise, you will not be able to hear it. There we go. June 21st, 948 AM. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. What? Prosecutor Von Karma? You mean... No, I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? Manfred Von Karma. He was really a sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks. Also, he could win! He was a man obsessed with a word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sort of dirty tricks he used to get each of those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what a kind of person they will turn out to be. Ugh. It's not good. Mystic Maya! Pearly! You showed up! Thanks for coming all this way! I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. She said they have to train for two days straight with no breaks. Huh? The, then you came all by yourself? Yep! I snuck out of the manor and followed a map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not! I ran! That's... I can't... Oh my... If it takes two hours by train... Oh man... Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a... Tray in. I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth, who is that? Um, he's Nick's rival. He's, a well, he's also a friend. Objection! I still remember him as if I had just seen him only yesterday. Every trial was scorching fierce battle until the very end. It was always back and forth with them. But when your rivals for life... Maya! Please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm... I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He... He's... He's gone. And he's not coming back. What? Well, wait! Wait a second! What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Let's go. Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. Did Nick? I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. June 21st, 10 a.m. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? Uh, what is with this girl? Ahem, <clears throat> Mr. Wright, are you finally prepared? Huh? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, your honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. You must be a little shocked because I am a woman, correct? Hold on, so this kid is the famed prosecutor Von Karma? I am Francisca Von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this court for one sole reason. Revenge. Revenge? Is this about her father, Manfred Von Karma? Um, if it's something of personal nature, I'm sure you can... Ow! I'm talking! But she's got a whip! If you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. Please speak with your mouth like a normal person. I beg of you. Ow! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Well, you know, if you're gonna say that, it's you're not bad looking. I mean... Oh, you mean that kind. Prosecutor Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate, and that is perfection. The defendant, Maya Fey, will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Very well. 
What is the defense's position? Your Honor. Does the defense wish to enter the plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense? Hmm. A plea usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of himself. We could very easily make a solid case that it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because the plea of plea of justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. How foolish. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Ugh. Witness, your name and occupation. Yes, sir! My name is Dick Gumshoe! I'm a detective at the local precinct! Ah! Get to the point already! Explain to the court the details of this murder! Y yes sir! Um, if everyone would please look at this map! The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut! At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room! What were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Ch channeling a spirit? The look of disbelief on the judge's face is... <clears throat> anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Ah, and that's when they found the victim was already dead, correct? Hmm. I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I have ever presided over. Jeez, way to just do that. So how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time then. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Cause of death. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point-blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. Okay. The court accepts it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Alright. Hold it! The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. Whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim's? Now why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you would are missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims. The defendant, Maya Faze, were also on the grip, sir. Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Hmm. I walked right into her hands there. Hold it! Point blank, huh? So how far away was it? It was anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Tsk, tsk, tsk! Mr. Phoenix Wright! I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. Excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn? 
When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and it gets real hot, pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. Hmm. Hold it! Stabbed. And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, Maya Faye's fingerprints are all over it. Hmm. All over it, huh? Ugh, this does not look good. <laughs> what will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Hmm. Hold it! How severe was the wound? If it had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes Maya look like she had stabbed him with intent to kill. Hmm. Hold it! Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as it can be. One look at the wound and you'd come to the same conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to a foolish opinions of other foolish fools. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open your big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Ugh, what a pain. That's enough! We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very well. The court accepts them into evidence. God, my voices for them aren't different at all. <sighs> A date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claimed to have heard two gunshots at this time. And the two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them? Hmm. This does not look like- this does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As if the su the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there is no room left for doubt, is there? That is quite true, Mr. Wright, yes? Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See? Just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you would change your plea in less than ten minutes. Has it been ten minutes? Ah, oh, crap! What will you do, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Will you change to justify self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so! This is your final chance! This is a huge decision. I'd better think this through all the way. Mm. Damn it. Of course we're gonna plead not guilty. If we plead justified self-defense, we will basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be destroyed, and she'd be labeled a murderer. I can't let that happen! Your Honor! Have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of a complete acquittal! Ah! You! You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Detective! Y yes sir! Present the final portion of your testimony! The final strike! Um, yes sir! Now see here, proceedings are run by... Eek! Oh, yes, yes, of course. Go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. I think the court would like to hear about that, the other piece of incriminating evidence. 